Hello everyone. Um, today we are going to talk about uh, operational amplifier. Uh, sometimes we are calling it op amp. Uh, like what you are seeing here for the operational amplifier, uh, this is a real operational amplifier uh, 741. And uh, to connect this operational amplifier, you have to know uh, what are the components inside that guy. So if you try to look to the operation amplifier, you will see that there are eight different pins. So pin number one, pin number two, three, four, and then counterclockwise, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, what is each one and what is the purpose of each one? What is the name of each one? Uh, and how we count, how we start counting from where? If you try to look to the pressure amplifier, you will see uh, that notish and you will see the circle and we are start counting from here. So imagine that this guy, which is this guy. So this notish is this one and this circle is this one. So we are start counting from that side. One, two, three, four, counterclockwise, five, six, seven, eight. This is the simple for the operational amplifier, and we are using for our level for that course only five pins. But before start talking about what we are going to use, let us define each one. So pin number one is defined as offset null. We are not using it for our course. Pin number two is the inverting input, V negative. Pin number three is the non-inverting input, V positive, and those two are representing the inputs to the operational amplifier. Pin number four is called negative voltage, V negative, power supply, V is negative. And pin number seven is positive voltage, V positive, power supply. To prepare that guy, which is the operational amplifier, to start working, first of all, I have to connect this guy, which is pin number seven, to positive voltage and pin number six to negative voltage, which is called negative VS and positive VS. Sometimes we are calling it VCC positive and VCC negative. Pin number five, we are not using it for that course, which is offset now. Pin number six, it is representing the output and number eight, it is not used pin. For that operational amplifier, this is the sample that we are going to use in our circuit. But if you try to see how many pins we are drawing for the simple circuit, we are drawing one, two, three, four, five pins. These two are representing the input. This guy, which is pin number six, is representing the output. So the negative and positive, which are two and three, two and three are represented here. So two is negative and three is positive. And six is representing the output and four is representing V is negative and seven is representing VF, V is positive. And we are not using one, eight or five. So if you try to draw it, this is the symbol that I'm talking about. We have positive, we have negative. This guy is representing the non-inverting input. This guy is representing the inverting input. This guy is representing the positive power supply and the negative power supply, and this is the output. For the operational amplifier, we are there are some steps to connect it in the circuit. First of all, I have to connect the positive and negative power supply. And those are preparing our operation amplifier to start working. But what about the non-inverting and inverting? So the non-inverting and inverting, we are connecting them after connecting the positive and negative power supply. And then the circuit will work, and after that, in sequence, I will disconnect the input and then disconnect the power supply. So I wrote here these steps for you. 
Part one or part A connects the circuit based on the schematic that you have. Then apply the positive negative supply. Then apply the input voltage to pin two and three. And we are going to measure the outputs by using pin number six. And if you would like to switch off the circuit, first of all, remove the input voltage from pin two and pin three, and then turn off the power supply, not opposite. I'm not turning off the power supply first. First, I'm removing the input voltage, and then I will turn the power supply off. These are the steps for any operational amplifier that you would like to connect it to any circuit. Now, let us talk about the characteristic for the operational amplifier. Before I start talking about the operational amplifier characteristics, I'd like to show you how to connect this guy in the circuit. So imagine that this guy is representing our operational amplifier. This guy is representing the output. This guy is representing the positive input. This guy is representing the negative input. So between that point and that point, I'm connecting the inputs, positive voltage. Between that point, that point, I'm connecting Vn or the other input voltage maybe there is a resistor actually the connection here is not only like voltage source there are something else it depends on the purpose that you are going to use the operational amplifier for the operational amplifier could be used for inverting the voltage for uh, amplifying the voltage for summing some input voltage for subtracting some input voltage many purposes we will talk about that next class. So the first step is to connect my circuit and then connect the positive power supply between that point and that point and the negative power supply between that point and that point. So if this is the reference here, I have positive VCC and here I have negative VCC for that operational amplifier. So for that operational amplifier, I have a current here, which is to the positive terminal, which is called IP, which is positive current, and I have another current here, which is called IN, which is negative current. If you try to see the characteristic for this operational amplifier, he is telling me the output, which is this voltage, is equal to negative VCC if you calculated this guy and you found it is less than negative VCC. But if you calculated V output and you found it is greater than positive VCC, then it will be the output will be positive VCC. But if you try to calculate V output here and you found it is in between VCC positive and negative, at that time you will keep that value, which is the gain multiplied by the voltage. Based on that, the operational amplifier between positive and negative VCC will work in the linear region, which is that. After VCC, it will be saturated. So the output will be equal to VCC. Before that, it will be before negative VCC. So if I calculated the voltage and I found it is less than negative VCC, at that time, it will be saturated to be negative VCC. This is the theory of operation of that operational amplifier. If this operational amplifier is constrained to its linear region and the node voltage are much larger than 2 millivolt, at that time, the constraints on the input voltage of the operational amplifier is Vp is equal to Vn. And this is what we are calling virtual short condition. And also Ip is equal to In is equal to zero. So if I'm dealing with that operational amplifier, this is the way that we are using the operational amplifier. So we are connecting here a specific voltage, but the voltage from that point to the reference is Vn, which is from negative. And the voltage from positive to the reference is Vp. And the voltage from that point to the, uh, the, the reference is V out. This is V negative, and this is V positive power supply. So here I'm writing the names. Vp is positive voltage, Vn is negative voltage, Ip is positive current, In is negative current. Again, if we are talking about linear region, 
which is virtual chart condition, at that time I can say VP is equal to VN and IP is equal to IN is equal to zero. Let us see that simple example that is describing the story for a very simple problem to solve it. Imagine we have that operational amplifier. What do you need? I would like to calculate VO if V is equal to one and VP is equal to zero. So what we have here, we have 100 kilo ohm, which is the feedback resistor connected to the output voltage. And we have positive 10 and negative 10, which are the limit values for the saturation for that operational amplifier. And we have here negative connected to that point through 25 kilo ohms, and this voltage is VA grounded, and this voltage is VB grounded. By the way, this is the way of representing most of the problems for the operational amplifier. This, this, this are the same point, and I have here a specific load. Now, what do you like to do? I would like to solve such a problem. For any operational amplifier problem, what I have to do, I'm going to say submission that can't for each node is equal to zero. This is the simplest way. Since I have a reference, I can use KCL and KBL as well. Use whatever you want. Here, what do you want? I would like to calculate VO. So I have this node. I can say submission the current for that node is equal to zero. But before I start saying submission the current for that node is equal to zero, I have to define the voltage for that node. I told you this is connected to the negative terminal. So the voltage for that node is called Vn. What about the voltage for that node? It is called V from that point to the reference, Vp, which is the positive voltage. So what is the relation between Vn and Vp? They are equal. So if you know Vp, you can find Vn. If you try to look to this circuit, the voltage from that point to that point is Vp, but actually it is equal to the voltage source Vb. At that time, I can say Vn is equal to Vp is equal to Vb. Excellent. Now, submission the current for that node is equal to Z. This current plus this current plus this current is equal to zero. So this current is equal to what? It is equal to Vn, which is Vb, minus this voltage, which is Va, divided by 25 kilo. And this is the first thing I wrote here. Vn minus this voltage, which is Va, divided by 25 kilo. And I told you that Va is equal to one. This is what's given in the problem. What about Vn? Actually, you told me Vn is equal to Vp is equal to Vp. That's why I substituted this guy by Vb, and I know that Vb is equal to zero. Plus this current, which is equal to Vn minus Vo divided by 100 kilo, which is that. Vn actually is equal to Vb minus Vo. Plus this current, which is In. I know that In is equal to zero. So I will substitute in this equation based on that condition and then calculate the value of the output voltage. By the same way, I can repeat the problem if V is equal to 1, if VB is equal to 2, and solve the problem again. So for the operational amplifier, I don't like to talk a lot about it today for our first class, but what I would like to pay your attention to is this is the operational amplifier that we are going to use in the lab. So how to read that operational amplifier? How to count? How to know that this is pen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? I'm looking to that notch, and then I'm looking to that circle here. And based on that, the pen that will be near that guy, it is called pen number 1. Then pen number 2. Then pen number 3, pen number 4. Counterclockwise, five, six, seven, eight. What am I going to connect in my circuit? I'm going to connect pin number two to the inverting input voltage. Pin number three to the non-inverting input voltage, which are those. And then pin number seven is the positive VCC, power supply which is from the other side, and pin number four, which is the negative, which is this one.
What about the output? My output is through pin number six, which is here. And this is the symbol for the operational amplifier. This is what I would like you to know for uh, today. So I would like to show you that here very quick. And what I did, if you try to look to this guy, this guy is the here. I, I, I was trying to connect that circuit. So I put my operational amplifier here. And then I'm, I'm, I'm showing you that I would like to connect pin number two to a specific resistor here. Uh, where is pin number two, which is this one? It is connected to this resistor in series. And then after that, I'm connecting the input to that guy. So I'm showing you that connection. Then if I would like to connect, for example, pin number uh, three, uh, to the uh, common, so I'm going to look to that pin number three and connect it. I'm going to connect this pin number three to the common. And then if you would like to connect pin number seven, so where is pin number seven, which is that one, I will choose any slot of those. And pin number four, which is this one, I will choose any slot of those. This is the way of connecting the operational amplifier. This is pin number one. Pin number two, pin number three, pin number four, five, six, seven, eight. And here in the schematic diagram, I'm showing you pin number two, it is connected to the negative. Pin number three, it should be connected to the uh, positive. And pin number seven, it is connected where is seven, which is that one, it should be connected to the positive 15. And pin number four, it is connected to negative 15. And if you would like to measure the output voltage, the output voltage will be through pin number six, which is any slot of this. Please watch lab 5A4 operational amplifier. Uh, it is describing everything related to that guy and how to connect it in the real life. But what is needed for today is to know that guy to know the terminals, to know how to use it in the circuit, like this problem, and how to connect it. First of all, I will connect the circuit as schematic, then I will apply positive negative uh, power supply, and then I will apply the input voltage to pin two and three. Then if you would like to remove, you will remove that input voltage first, and then you will turn off the power supply. Again, the power supply, which are those, are preparing my operational amplifier to be ready to start using it. Please pay your attention. Never apply the voltage to the input terminal without power being supplied first, which means never connect voltage between these two points before turning on this power supply. And again, if you would like to remove your, your circuit, don't turn off that. Please remove these voltage first and then turn off that. Thank you for uh, watching that uh, video. I will uh, record another video which is talking about um, how to use LT Spice. Uh, I have already uploaded um, a link to LT Spice to uh, download it. Uh, please download the LT Spice uh, software. And uh, right now I'm going to record another video which is talking about the basics for LT Spice and how to use it. Thanks and uh, have a great weekend. See you on Monday. Bye for now.